Kristen Megan, who's actually a U.S. military whistleblower. She has an amazing, fascinating story that we will share with you here today. Now, Kristen, can you tell us what branch of the military you were in and what you uncovered? Sure. Um, I wa was in the Air Force on active duty for nine years, and I worked in bioenvironmental engineering. Uh, one part of that process was to approve chemicals, hazardous materials. You know, what are you using? Why do you need it? Where is it being used? And tracking that disposal. Um, after it being brought to my attention about chemtrails or geoengineering, I, I used to think it was crazy. It actually was disrespectful to my line of work because here we are trying to prevent environmental aspects and impacts um, and not have anybody get sick from our operations. But in, in an attempt to debunk, I it changed my life. I started noticing things. I started noticing large quantities on the system where I would approve chemicals that did not have a manufacturer name, wasn't tied to a building. When I started asking questions, um, I slowly became demonized. Um, a couple years passed after that when I asked again and people realized I was kind of being more vocal about it on social media, I was threatened to be thrown into a mental institution and have my daughter taken away. Wow. That changed my life. I no longer view the military the same way, and I feel like after nine years of trying to uphold an oath, I'm able to do that now. I feel they're getting ready to admit it, and they're trying to sell it to us. You know, at, yeah. it's kind of like they sell that to us. They sell fluoride to us. You know, fluoride is a, is a mining waste product. Well, how can we make that good? You know, put it in your water. So I think that they're trying to now kind of admit it and act like they're going to start doing it. I mean, they've already been.